Okay guys, so I'm gonna go over how to use the crossover symmetry as part of a warm-up. I want to also add in some mobility work with it because I find that the best results come when you pair this stuff together because some of our common um, relationships or compensations you will find are going to be, whether it be from our posture all day at work, um, how we sleep, all the pulling we're doing when we're lifting. I often see a lot of upper trap and pec um, facilitation or compensation for some of the back line on the shoulder. So biggest thing you can do is pair some of your mobility work with your activation when I show you guys what to do with the crossover. So mobility wise, um, you can use either like a sphere ball, lacrosse ball if you can get in those certain areas or even just get over a foam roller. Only a minute or two, um, you can get on your belly with the ball, putting the ball into the pec region and while you're rolling on it, move the arm around, find those little tight areas. Same thing, you can get the ball up against the wall, um, working on upper trap or even on the floor and do a little bit of a bridge so you put some pressure into the upper trap region or easily just putting um, foam roller on the floor up vertically on the back and opening up the chest. So just think about pairing your mobility um, and opening up the chest and working on some upper trap stretch, um, anything to tell the brain to relax pec, relax upper trap, those higher tone areas first. Then we're gonna get into a nice warm up with crossover symmetry. So for the crossover symmetry that we have in the gym, we have the purple and the red. I have a few more in here, but we're gonna start with just purple and red. So purple is gonna be super light. All right, so you can even put it on the lower, um, uh, hook it on either on the, the bar on the rig, or here I just have it built into the wall. Um, have them lower so it's coming from about just below knee height. All right, so you're gonna take the two purple, and we're gonna cross them. Biggest things I want you guys paying attention when paying attention to whenever you're using the bands is one gonna be your neck and the posture of your head. So a lot of times when we're pulling, lifting, um, different activities, we end up using the neck and cheating and that jaw comes out. I want you guys thinking about the core of the neck, the front of the neck being engaged whenever we do these exercises. So first thing is head's gonna be neutral, almost like you're making a double chin, so you feel activation in the front. Second is gonna be the rib cage angle. So I want you guys thinking about pubic bone up rib cage down so we're stacking the rib cage over the pelvis and then third is firing those glutes all right so we're staying nice and solid glutes stack posture head neutral over the ears all right i also want you guys thinking about not letting these shoulders hike up and use that neck and upper trap that we're so used to uh, cheating with so first thing is going to be just a simple t but make sure posture stacked glutes nice and fired Head neutral, elbows stay straight, and just a little pause, and then back down. Pause, you can even turn out a little bit to get a little external rotation to fire up the back of the arm line a little more at the end. You don't need to get behind your body, just go to even with your body. So if I wanna make it a little series, I'll start out with here for five, a little higher for five and then a little higher so you can go T's Y's eyes in there go five 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 you can then add in some angels I call them so we're gonna be here all the way up all the way down the whole time head is neutral ribs are stacked you can work on your breathing down into your pelvis and hips are stable. What I don't want to see happening is people doing this, using your back and your ribs to lift it up. This stays stable to allow to actually tap into those arms. All right, so we had T's, Y's, I's. Now we can get into a row with rotation. So we can go five here, row, rotate then we can pull it into a full motion so you're going to go row rotate punch 
back down, back down, here. So row, rotate, punch, all right? And we can get five of those. So now you have a series, five T's, five Y's, five I's, five angels, all right? It should be burning by now. Then we go through the row and punch, five of those, all right? That will be good with the purple. We can then switch to red, which is higher. We want to now get those lats engaged. Biggest thing I see, a lot of people cheat and they'll use bicep to help cheat for the lat. So biggest thing is locking out the elbow so you're not using the bicep to help cheat. So we're going to cross them over. You can bend over a little bit, a nice little hip hinge, but make sure ribs are still down, stacked hips are stable. Lock those elbows out. Pull straight down. When you get to the bottom, you can almost like hug in. When you hug in, you should feel more recruitment here. All right. So straight down, hug, and then back. Straight down, hug, and then back. All right. Just a one to two second hold at the bottom with the squeeze. Do that a few sets of five in there 15 i want you to get a good burn so when you get to like five to eight of them you feel that burn a few sets there so we got the straight arm press downs now getting lat last thing before you go as part of your warm-up i want to engage core with overhead so we're going to turn the other direction with the purple so it's going to be crossed behind you you're going to get into a tall kneel here Purple's a little light, red might be a little much. So you can either go super close with the red or purple, get a little farther away. Biggest thing now, pubic bone up to the ribs, keeping this stacked. We're just going up and hold for a five second hold and then straight back down. So I want to see my head nice and neutral, my ribs stacked. I don't wanna see this happening. I should not see rib cage flaring. So if I were to show rib cage here, I want to keep it stacked as we come up and down. I don't want to see that flare of the ribs. So back nice and flat, tuck those ribs down, pubic bone up to engage that core, breathe into the lower belly as we do this. So up and hold for five seconds because it's trying to pull you back. You are now getting engagement of your core while you're overhead. up there. Last one we can also add in is going to be here and just a push. You can do that. You might have to switch to the red bands. This gets that nice serratus activation. But biggest thing, keep the elbows locked and it's all coming from the shoulders. All right. So keys to think about when you're doing crossover symmetry. You can do it if you're not paying attention to those little details. You're kind of not wasting your time, but you're feeding into those compensations and those compensatory patterns, which lead us to having some injuries like neck tightness, um, shoulder impingement overhead. That's what we're trying to get rid of. So biggest thing, open up the chest, work on the upper trap. So upper trap stretch, pec stretch. Before we go into the bands, once you get into the bands, go through, and I'm not too worried about the exact number of reps. I want you getting a good burn with good form and not cheating while you're doing it. So thinking about rib cage stacked over pelvis, glutes and hips engaged, head nice and neutral, then going through all the motions. So we can go say five here, five here, five here, five over. Then you can go through five angels on that. That would be one time through. You could do that a couple times. We think about the rows, start with just rows, then rows with rotation. Biggest thing is pretend your elbows on a, on a shelf here, rotate and then press. So you can do it in parts, five, five, and then five there. All right. Then we switch facing the other. We're going to use the red straight arm press downs for lat with that little squeeze at the end to really engage. And then also turning around that core engagement. So you're resisting that extension and getting overhead mobility. So give those a shot. 
make sure do your mobility first then do that afterwards i find that it will stick and it'll last a lot longer and also start breaking those patterns so just be really mindful of what you're doing while you're doing it um, to get the most out of it